Hi John here, just got a quick shopping haul type thing. Um, nipped into the charity shop again that did the VHS videos. Um, picked up a couple of videos there. Um, 25p each again. Um, I'm going to risk trying some of these because I've got the VHS player, I've not used it for a while. So 25p. I can afford to risk one or two of these because I've already got another copy sort of thing so I thought well why not so we have an On The Buzzes Series 1 Episodes 4 to 7 I'll try that see if that works um, this one isn't for me but I saw it so I thought I'd get it and that is the story of the hurricane the Hawker Hurricane aeroplane. Um, I know somebody who was in the RAF. Um, he's the one that does the British Legion stuff. I think he might like that. Um, it's only 25p, so it's not the end of the world. Um, a comedian did a comedy video film version. That was Roy Chubby Brown UFO. Um, it also starred Roger Lloyd Pack. From Only Fools and Horses, um, supermodel Sarah Stockbridge, um, obviously Roy Chubby Brown, and a few other people in there, a few famous faces recognised. So I've got that anyway, um, you may recognise it because I got it signed, so I can risk using that one and it's fine. This comedian, I just literally saw this and I thought, Right, I've got to get that. This was in... Um, what year is this? 1994. Um, in 1990, he was the Perrier Comic of the Year winner. And he had his own TV show. Um, I used to love watching his TV show. Very recently passed away. Literally last week, I think it was. Um, that was Sean Hughes. So as soon as I saw that, I had to get that anyway. Um, just as a way of remembering him sort of thing I used to watch the show quite a lot I did buy four other cassettes but I only really brought them for the um, cases um, day after tomorrow I mean I might try them as well because I don't care if the video goes Evita I only wanted the case because the cases are in good condition so I can swap some that are a bit old and stained and damaged there for a decent case, remains of the day and sense and sensibility definitely won't be getting a watch that is definitely just for the case and then there was a children's cartoon fun which was still sealed um, case is in good condition I might try one of the other ones first if that works okay I may put this one on for the little one to show him then getting some Popeye episodes Mighty Mouse, Heckle and Jekyll, and Buzzy, the funny crow. Um, got Heckle and Jekyll, the crows, Buzzy, the crow. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But that was just a quick VHS haul. Um, I'm just going to stop the video now and I'm going to go on to doing some DVDs. Right, I'm back and got some DVDs and one Blu-ray. Um, I went into a different charity shop on my way um, home after dinner and I thought not been in this one for a while it's near where my mum lives I'll nip in and have a quick look see what we've got. So two DVDs that I brought first were 12 Years a Slave which only came out in 2014 DVD release um, that was £1.49. They also had a Freddy and Jason double disc set. It was buy one, get one free. So for £1.49 I've got 12 Years a Slave and Freddy vs and Jason because I've never watched it. So that was a good bargain. Then they had a box where it just said any five DVDs for a pound unchecked. So I thought right okay we'll have a look through, see what there is. Um, 
I'll just go through these. Basically, the price for these is not five for a pound. I got them a lot better than five for a pound. So, first one, Little Britain, the complete third series. Santa Claus 2, Tim Allen. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Bruce Willis, Hostage. Not seen that before. Didn't even know that film existed. That was the first I was aware of it. So, glad I had a look. Lucky number Slevin. I think it's supposed to be pronounced that way. Never watched that either, so I thought I'd get that. Special Edition, two disc set, Reservoir Dogs. Um, special features, commentary with Quentin Tarantino, producer Lawrence Bender and selected cast and crew, and trailer, deleted scenes, interview with Tarantino and the cast, um, Sundance interviews in 1992, a few other bits and bobs, but I thought that was brilliant for what it was, double disc, looks really really good. Iron Man Blu-ray, I've seen Iron Man, seen it loads, but two disc set on Blu-ray, couldn't grumble with that. Rise of the Foot Soldier, two disc set, not seen that one either, so glad I got that one. Um, now, so that should have been a pound for those five. Um, we've got three there, um, so we've got other videos, here, uh, other DVDs here, um, we'll start with this one. First time on DVD, four disc set, that was the Star Wars trilogy. Um, the only thing with this is... A New Hope is missing the disc, which doesn't specifically bother me because I've already got got it anyway on Blu-ray. I've got the Blu-ray set with episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and the bonus ones, um, the bonus edition. Um, so we've got three there, three there, that would have been about another pound. So we're looking at two pound there so far. Bearing in mind, they also would have sold, potentially sold that if they'd have took the time to check it. If the other disc had been there, they'd have sold that as a complete box set for about four or five quid. So we'll say three quid because there was one missing, one pound per disc. So we're at one, two. Well, one, two. Three, four, so say five quid so far. About five or just under five quid, four quid. And then I saw the Godfather complete collection. Godfather, Godfather 2, two discs. Godfather 3, the Godfather DVD collection bonus materials, which actually was really good. Lots of different bits on there. For that, I would say. Complete set, all good condition, hardly looks like they've been watched. That would have been about five quid as well. So we'll say nine quid, eight quid, we'll lower it down a bit, eight pound. For all of these DVDs basically, we're going to say about eight quid. And the Blu-ray. I says, oh how much are these then? They just went through, where are they from? Box over there five for a pound um box sets yeah well we'll say um she charged me for the two that were together and then she says what i'll do is we'll say that's a pound donation put that in the little money tin so i did and then she said for the rest of them the f two in a blu-ray and the two box sets Put in a donation what you think. So I thought, well, it should have been 
five for a pound, so it would have been about two pounds. So I think I put three quid in. So I got for four pound, I got all these basically for four quid. Um, I then went home and checked them. Um, all the discs look okay. Some of them just need a quick wipe to clean them up a little bit. Um, Godfather looks perfect. Um, Reservoir Dogs doesn't look like it's hardly been watched. Star Wars, all discs look okay apart from obviously the one that's missing. But that's fine because I've got it on Blu-ray. That I'll probably keep in case anyone is interested. It is obviously Region 2. So it's only good for the UK. But I thought it's just back up spare. Or the little one can watch him when he's a bit older. Get his own DVD player. Um, but obviously it depends what the special edition things are that are on here. The bonus materials. So I might watch them. So yeah, that's the shopping haul. Um, oh yeah, quickly the VHS is... 8 VHS is 25p each. Cost me 2 quid. There's four, maybe five that I'll be happy to keep. The other three I just want the cases. So I can sacrifice them in the VHS. I will let you know if it works as soon as I try. And I may even do a quick video of it working or show you what the quality looks like. So thank you for watching and bye for now.